So as you can see, you, you, you can explore wherever you want to go. I mean, if you decide you want to fly over the entire city, you just start her gravity mode and then basically you just fly. And using a gravity power, for example, if you hit this wall here, that becomes the floor. So then you can run up, up and down the wall. And you can explore anywhere you wish. See her gravity uh, meter is just running out there. So, so the game has a story? Yeah, very, very, very complex story, okay. very, very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Um, using uh, comic book cutscenes to, uh, to, to to develop the plot. I mean, for for example, my latest location. Oh, I can show you. She's pointing towards uh, my location. There, you can see the arrow. And the next part of the story. It's split into episodes. You can see the the motion sensor is really delicate. Uh, excuse me one second. Do you see how, how big these cities are? They're all linked together mm -hmm. by the train lines, and you can, as you open up the, so as you open up the different areas, you can travel in between them as, mm -hmm. as as much as you want. So this is the old town called Old Noir. Mm -hmm. So at this stage of the game. The, uh, the, the government are kind of taking over. You can hear them speaking on uh, mm -hmm. these loudspeakers. So the atmosphere has changed very much in this city. So where am I going to? I think it's underneath the city, actually. See, so that's the other thing. These are all floating in, in the air, so you have to explore underneath these environments as well. So you go right down through the middle. But the mechanics of the game... Um is it like an RPG? Or? No, it's it's an action adventure, but there there are um, elements of RPG in as much as you can develop your character. I can sh I can show you that. So this is her little house that she made, little pipe. So she can go inside here. So you can see the. Uh, you can just pinch it like that. So, for example, this is a, a map of the whole world, and it's all drawn in a really beautiful original style of fictional language and location. But all these elements are uh, challenges and uh, places to go. For example, this is a, a conversation, so you have to set your navigation to to go and find that person. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to fly back back up into the city again. You can see the uh, the sense of freedom and scale that you have is like nothing that we've ever really played before. And then there are um, there are challenges. And yeah, there's many many different challenges. And she, her reputation increases by mm -hmm. uh, completing the challenges and by getting her reputation increased. It increases the reputation level. Reputation is like a, a experience points. Yeah, yeah. So her levels increase, and you can, she can fly further and longer, and be stronger and fight harder. So, for example, you see in here. Here's the things that you can upgrade. And are there bosses? Yes, huge boss characters, like huge flying, uh, like uh, kind of uh, leviathan beasts and things. So, for example, here you can see uh, you want to upgrade the health or the speed or the gauge, combat, um, st stasis field. She can pick things up in a field and carry them with her or th use it to throw. So, to power that up, I just uh, hold it. See, the atmosphere is quite 
uh, phenomenal. All, all the cities are completely different in their colouring and their lighting. You know, some of the industrial centre is very green. Is it set in a, like an apocalyptic? Time? No, no. It's, it's just an, it's just a different it's just a different world. Different world. But it's very influenced by European architecture. You can see all these yeah. kind of uh, the, the railings and the buildings and the lights, the post boxes, and the names of the places are like um, Vonda Centre and uh, Plejun and uh, uh, Industria. So they're all very 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 cleverly named basically. Yeah, this is a kind of government conspiracy going on in the background. You, see, you, you can see, you can see this dictator basically talking to you from these things. So the structure is really, uh, it's very open. You know, it's up to you to what, what uh, order you want to do things in. So this one, you know, I'm going to find another person again. She's going back to the fortune teller that she saw before. You don't have to do in that order. You can go and do all the challenges first to get more gems, use the gems to power up even further. It's really uh, uh, flexible. So the story constantly develops by meeting people and uh, by driving it along with bits of information and suddenly huge events will occur, different characters will come in uh, and then you will open up different areas of the city or uh, you know, go underneath or even uh, rift plains which are areas in between the actual cities. So here, for example, that's uh, the train station. Oh, there's one more. See my, my little cat? It's basically the, the, the cat is... Uh, when she wakes up uh, in this world, she has no idea who she is or where she is. Mm -hmm. And she meets, she meets this curious cat that grants her these gravity powers. So you can see, uh, like, you can control the camera and look around in her eyes. But there she is. The, the cat's called Dusty. She's all sparkly. And he's, if, if she loses that cat during the game, uh, her powers are really, really limited. So there are some levels that are very difficult where you have to basically use uh, just very limited powers, mm -hmm. um, which is really challenging. And the cat so, joins with her to attack these mm -hmm. huge creatures as well. So she has these special moves as well. So for example, this one is Spiraling Claw. So if there was an enemy there, then basically that move you constantly hit them and move to the next one, to the next one very, very quick succession, so you knock them all out. 